It seems that the presence of Prince Hashem alongside King Abdullah II and Queen Rania in Spain was not a mere coincidence, according to Spanish media reports. The Spanish website Mujer Hoy, which specialized in covering news related to royal families, suggests that Prince Hashem's presence held significant meaning. The analysts and royal observers were surprised when King Abdullah and Queen Rania landed in Madrid, accompanied by their youngest son, Prince Hashem. The website notes that this was a complete surprise since it is customary for the heir to the throne to undertake such official visits to strengthen the relationships that their parents have cherished. The website also highlights that despite the recent marriage of the Jordanian crown prince, Prince Hussein, to the Saudi Arabian architect, Rajwa Al Saif, Prince Hashem's presence in Madrid is noteworthy. So who is Prince Hashem? Why did he accompany King Abdullah II and Queen Rania to Spain? What potential relationship could exist between him and Princess Leonor or Sophia? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. According to the website, Prince Hashem has recently become Queen Rania's favorite, following his graduation from the Royal Academy a few weeks ago, which is equivalent to a bachelor's degree in Spain. In addition, Prince Hashem shares similarities with Princess Leonor, the heir to the Spanish throne, as they are both 18 years old. They are both reserved individuals, lacking active social media presence or visible connections to high society. Moreover, being the son of King Abdullah II and Queen Rania, Prince Hashem possesses considerable wealth and holds the position of second in line to the throne after his older brother and before his uncle, Prince Faisal. Currently, he is not known to have a girlfriend. The website suggests that Prince Hashem's visit to Madrid was informal, with the primary purpose of meeting the Spanish royal family, especially Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia. It raises the question of whether Queen Rania, knowing Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia's presence in Madrid, deliberately orchestrated this encounter. Could there have been a conspiracy between Queen Rania and Queen Letizia to facilitate this meeting? The website confirmed the fact that Queen Rania and Queen Letizia have a lot of collusion, and it cannot be ruled out that both of them believed it was a good idea to introduce their children who could potentially marry in the future. However, it dismisses the notion that Queen Letizia went to extraordinary lengths to introduce her daughter Leonor to the Jordan royal family beyond the natural opportunities that arise in such unions. Returning to the topic of Prince Hashem, the website explains that he recently played a leading role in the royal wedding, as he was chosen by Raja and Khalid al Saleh to accompany them to the wedding ceremony venue, where the crown prince awaited them, Prince Hashem. Jordan's King Abdullah II and Queen Rania arrived in the Spanish capital, Madrid, on Monday, accompanied by their son, Prince Hashem, on an official visit coinciding with the ninth anniversary of King Philip VI's ascension to the Spanish throne. As usual, the appearances of Queen Rania and Queen Letizia caught everyone's attention with their elegance, generating significant buzz on social media. Queen Rania embraced her role as a distinguished guest. After her remarkable presence at her son Prince Hussein's wedding, which took place a few weeks ago, Queen Rania stood out as the guest of honor. She opted for a simple yet highly elegant black dress, which received considerable praise. The website states that it was expected for Queen Rania to showcase her vibrant and luxurious wardrobe that usually places her among the most stylish royal women. However, her choice of a sophisticated and modest appearance left some slightly disappointed, considering the high temperatures already present in Spain. Queen Rania Abdullah chose the color black, which may be too dark for a daytime event or for the spring or summer season at this time of year. She appeared in a mid-length, long-sleeved, and tight-fitting dress that seemed quite hot. Despite that, according to the website, Queen Rania managed to compete with Queen Letizia and showed that she is one of the most elegant women. The website stated that although the choice was not entirely correct, 
Queen Rania also stood out with the elegance of her appearance thanks to small details. Her son Prince Hashem was born on January 30, 2005. He is the younger brother of Crown Prince Prince Hussein bin Abdullah. Prince Hashem appeared for the first time in the Jordanian military supplementary uniform and the Jordanian Shima during the celebration held by the Jordanian Armed Forces and security agencies on the occasion of the first anniversary of the establishment of the Jordanian state in 2021. One of his foreign visits included attending the Bahrain Grand Prix Formula One race. Here, Prince Hashem graduated from King's Academy after completing his high school education. King Abdullah II, Queen Rania Abdullah, and Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah attended Prince Hashem's graduation ceremony. Princess Leonor is a Spanish princess and the eldest daughter of King Philip VI of Spain. She is the older sister of her only sibling, Princess Sophia, and she was born on October 31, 2005. She is commonly known as La Infanta Leonor, which is the Spanish title for Princess Leonor. Princess Leonor is fluent in both Spanish and English, and she also has a good command of the Arabic language. She is often referred to as the New Queen of Hearts by the Spanish people, a title that was famously associated with Princess Diana of Wales. Many people speculate that young Princess Leonor could be the future Queen of Spain and succeed her father in the Spanish throne, as she is the eldest daughter of Prince Philip, the Prince of Asturias, and the King of Spain. This has led to calls from various rights movements, especially women's rights movements in Spain, to amend the law of succession and grant this young girl all her rights to ascend to the throne in Spain and become a queen someday in the spirit of equality between males and females. In March of 2023, the Spanish royal family released an official statement revealing a new step in Princess Leonor's educational journey as the future heiress to the Spanish throne. The official statement disclosed that the princess would begin her military training as it is deemed necessary for the future royal heir to have a military background and career. Her training journey will commence aboard the training ship Juan Sebastian in the year 2025. It is planned that she will graduate with the rank of Lady Cadet. The Spanish Minister of Defense, Margarita Robles, also held a press conference where she indicated that the heiress to the throne would undergo her military training under a modified decree issued by her father, King Philip. Robles revealed that Princess Asturias is undergoing training in all branches of the armed forces, starting with the Army, finally the Air Force, for a total training duration of three years. She expressed her happiness at the fact that the princess will be the first woman to serve in the armed forces. It is expected that Princess Leonor will pursue her university studies at the same time. According to the statement from the royal family, Princess Leonor will begin her higher education in the academic year 2023 to 2024. Therefore, it has been confirmed that during this period, her military education will coincide with her university education to obtain a postgraduate degree. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.